Hello YouTubers and thank you for tuning in to Assets Tech Tips. I received a question from a user about how to restore a single folder from an Acronis True Image 2014 backup. So I've got that set up now. I've run a few backups and here is how it's done. So I'm assuming you all have Acronis if you're watching this video and that you have your backups running. So to restore just a file or a folder rather than an entire image, what you need to do is you need to select mount down the bottom here. So click on mount an image and you will be brought to a, an explorer window where you need to search for your backup. Presumably you won't see this, so you'll need to click on Browse and browse to where your backups are being saved. So in my case, it's on a network attached storage on the network. For you, it could be an external disk or something, but the procedure would be the same. You browse to the location and you select your backup. Now, when you get to this page, rather than going straight ahead to proceed, click on Options. Um, because you're not going to need to mount all the partitions. Maybe you're only backing up one partition, but in my case, I have a few of them here. So, if you have more than one, uh, instead of having them all mounting together at the same time, what you can do is you can click on Options and then select only the one that you need. So in our case, I just want program files. So let's untick those two there. And then to make life a little bit easier, I want to select myself, the letter to mount the partition that I'm going to back up from. That way I'll instantly know, ah, okay, that's the one, so I don't confuse it with the actual one that I have. So now I'm clicking on proceed and here any minute now you will see it mounts so this here is my original okay and here is the backup which is now being mounted. So now whatever file I had lost I could just drag and drop back over here. So let's say I lost PDF Creator. I can go and restore the file just like that. I hope uh, I hope this has helped. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, um, I will admit the first time it was a little tricky to uh, to identify where to go. The the documentation I found on Acronis isn't great, but um, the tool itself seems to be quite good for backups. So, um, yeah, if you have any further queries or questions regarding Acronis or any other software or hardware for that matter, please do not hesitate to give me a, an email. My email address is assetscript at gmail.com. Thank you all for watching and uh, have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.